how to keep your goldfish safe on your aquarium. To do this you need to understand nitrogen cycle for aquariums. When aquarium hobbyists talk about the nitrogen cycle, they are usually referring to the specific part of the cycle where the fish waste turns into toxic nitrogen compounds like ammonia, nitrites and nitrates. These nitrogen compounds can potentially kill our fish, unless we make sure we have plenty of microorganisms, also known as beneficial bacteria, and plants to consume the waste products. Let me show you my aquarium filtration in my 75-gallon tank. I have a four-sponge filter, a 40 to 55-gallon of canister filtration and pothos plants, and I change water every week. So far, my fish are happy and healthy. Also, my second aquarium is a 60-gallon tank, have four sponge filter, a 100 gallon canister filter. I don't have plants, but I am planning to add more so I will be more satisfied. Now let's talk about nitrogen cycle. The nitrogen cycle basically describes how nature creates food in the form of microorganisms and plants. Fish eat the food and produce waste, and then nature breaks down the fish waste so that it can get converted into food again. To understand more, here's our illustration to represent the three toxic nitrogen compounds. Yellow ammonia, which is very toxic and can burn fish gills and skin. Brown nitrite, which is somewhat toxic. Blue nitrate, which is not as toxic as ammonia and nitrite. Whenever your fish goes to the bathroom, some ammonia is produced. Beneficial bacteria eats the ammonia and produces nitrites. Beneficial bacteria then eats the nitrites and produces nitrates, the least toxic nitrogen compound. The fish continue to eat food and produce waste which gets processed from ammonia and nitrites into more nitrates. Eventually, the amount of nitrates will build up and can become harmful to the fish in high amounts. You must remove the nitrates by doing a water change. How long does it take for an aquarium to cycle? It depends, but usually it can take anywhere from a few weeks to months. You can speed up this process by buying a bottle of live nitrifying bacteria, getting some used filter media from a friend, or growing live plants which also come with beneficial bacteria on them. If you ask your average hobbyist whether or not their aquarium is cycled, most people think the answer is either a hard yes or no. In reality, the answer is a little more complex. Instead, we should be asking, how much beneficial bacteria does the tank have? And is it enough to treat the waste produced by the fish? For example, if you have a cycled aquarium with three goldfish, and then suddenly you add 30 goldfish, that aquarium no longer has enough beneficial bacteria to immediately convert all that waste into safe nitrates, how do I increase my biological filtration? This naturally leads us to ask how do we make sure there's enough biological filtration in the aquarium to handle toxic nitrogen compounds. One easy way is to of course add more aquarium plants, which will happily consume the ammonia and nitrates produced by your fish's waste. As for growing beneficial bacteria, there is a common misconception that buying bigger or more filters will increase the amount of bacteria in your aquarium. The truth is that beneficial bacteria grows not only in filters but also on every surface in your aquarium, such as the gravel, glass walls, and decorations. Buying more filtration simply means you have greater capacity to hold more beneficial bacteria, but if you only have a few fish, your decor alone may have enough surface area to colonize the necessary beneficial bacteria. That's all for now. Like and subscribe. Thank you and happy fish keeping.